from San Francisco, it's theCUBE, covering Girls in Tech Catalyst Conference, brought to you by Girls in Tech. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're in downtown San Francisco at the Girls in Tech Catalyst Conference 2018. About 700 professionals, mainly women, a couple of men, a couple of busloads of uh, younger people coming in to get inspired. And we're excited to be here. It's a single track event, two days, probably 20 uh, presentations per day of people really sharing their story. And we're excited to have Diane Capello. She's the lead solutions engineer from Clary. Just before you get to do, do your uh, talk, right? Exactly, so yes. So welcome. Thank you. So what's your talk going to be on? I'm leading a panel on the topic of innovation. So we've got four amazing women, two co-founders, two product managers. Okay, so clearly diversity of opinion, diversity of thought, diversity of point of view, diversity of problem solving, it's a huge piece of the innovation game. Absolutely, and so that was the challenge for me is with this broad set of speakers, how do you tie it together in a theme? So we're focusing on emerging technologies. So AI, big data, um, number crunching. Right, so it seems to me the, the, the solution to innovation, one of the solutions, there's a couple simple things. One is you know, kind of just give more people access to the data. Give more people access to the tools, you know, to manipulate the data, and then give more people the access to actually do something once they get the data out of the tools on top of the data, so they can actually be empowered to make change. And a lot of companies never have done that in the past, but really with the democratization of the data, the tools, and hopefully the control, that's you know one of the big engines that we see. What do you think? That's absolutely the key. So we are thinking of it in the reverse in our panel, what's the problem that you're trying to solve and then how can you leverage big data and these emerging technologies to solve that problem in the real world? Right, so how do you, get, in your day-to-day -day life, how do you make sure that you guys are staying innovative? How do you make sure that the quiet voice in the back actually gets heard or the person that doesn't necessarily have the social capital or the title capital or whatever the capital is to make an influence that that voice gets added to the conversation. So that's my role as a lead solutions engineer is to listen. The number one thing we do when we meet a customer is listen to the problems that they're experiencing and then listen to the goals that they have, the objectives that they want, the outcomes, and then we think about how can we meet their need with the technology. So number one thing for lead solutions engineer and for anyone else in tech is listen to your customer. You don't just stand up in front and tell them all the great stuff that you do? I would love to, I could talk <laughs> all day. <laughs> no, it's so funny, right? Because so many people, that's what they do. Instead, they don't listen, they just, they're so excited, and I think especially in a product management role, you see it a lot, where people are just so excited, so passionate about the things that they built, that sometimes that's all they want to do, is just tell that story, and maybe more the story than the customer needs to hear, is ready to hear, cares about hearing, but really it's listening, that's the more important skill. Yep, I mean, we have seven modules in our product. If I showed you all seven, yes, you would find something of value there, but it would be so much more valuable for your time and mine if I showed you that one right, thing in right. the context of what you want to do with it. So shifting gears a little bit, have you been to Catalyst before? This is my second one. Right. I'm really excited to come back two years in a row. Can't wait to come next year. So I'm just curious from, from a professional point of view, you know, where do you see the value? Obviously you're excited, now you're participating. You know, to take a, take a minute out of your day job, we're all busy, we have too many emails and too many meetings and too many calls but to really kind of take a break from that and come and spend a day and spend time on the panel, how do you, how do you find that valuable? For me, it's all about career development. I'm making connections, I'm learning so much. I got to speak to Parker Harris this morning about AI and applied AI. I would never have had that opportunity if I stayed at my desk. Yeah, well, great. So good luck on your uh, panel. Thank you. Um, and we'll be, uh, we'll be watching and hopefully you'll get some, uh, some good questions. She's Diana, I'm Jeff. You're watching theCUBE from Catalyst 2018. Thanks for watching.